11.39 a.m. September 5th. I'm in my extra room hiding from the chemical gas. They had me get up. Okay, this is the chain of events. I started to type something, you know. I was just typing on my... Oh, I can't describe all this. Just forget it. I was typing something on my phone. There's an app that's all I can describe. I, I can't describe every last thing. I just can't do it anymore. Okay, so I was typing on my phone. Oh, my God. Within, well, one minute, they started to... They got, they got into the room. However, they're doing this. I know it's through pipes. I've heard them do stuff and things. I just can't describe it anymore. This just has to stop. Okay, so... I'm laying flat on my back, bedridden, and they managed to get it into my room, my main room, where I was laying flat on my back. And I was typing on my phone. <sighs> Within one minute, it, all my intestines are swelling. It's serious lethal gas, okay? I'm, and I say out loud, they're poisoning me again. I'm in horror and I'm scared because anyone can understand why. And I crawl and I try to get out of the, 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 the chair because you can lay the chair down flat. I, it's all I can describe. And I get up and I, and I go to the bathroom thinking I have to pour out more diarrhea when I get to the bathroom no I just had to get away from the poison that's all I can explain or report I'm so grateful it wasn't so strong and so much of it I'm so grateful that it wasn't in the bathroom and the poison you know making me just pour out pee poo so I went to the bathroom I used the restroom I had to go pee. I hate to discuss all this on the internet, but no diarrhea, okay? So that's great, okay? But when I was poisoned, I was holding my gut and all this pain. When I went into my bathroom, it reeks of burning chemical stench, okay? And I'm allowed to talk about it. I can't hardly talk about anything in this house. Okay, but that is going on in the bathroom now. I'm also to say publicly, the sand dwellers, I can ID who it is, the sand dwellers are coming. They work at the Department of Mental Health. They actually have their names. They have taxable income. They work at the Department of Mental Health. They're not wearing the clothing or the tags. They have nothing to identify themselves professionally, legally, as Department of Mental Health psych responders, but they're crawling through from the attic, from every freaking cubby hole they can access. They're coming in and we know they do that. Oh, they do. They stand here and go on video with chemical stenches and golfing the freaking floor too. Okay, I've seen them do it all, dude. So they're coming in and the thing is, I'm not supposed to go to that door. This door. Oh, yeah, I don't want to film myself. I look better. Never mind. Forget trying to film it. My bedroom door, okay? Everyone's seen it a million times with my towels that hang on the door. I cannot go to that door when they knock. I'm supposed to stand in my main room, even if there's gas filling it up, and film them. Film them saying they're here for a psych check. We must, you know, all that routine recite script that they act out. They don't have anything to back it up. If I were to open it up, it'd even be more dangerous. Just film them live doing that. It's sand dwellers. I can already ID who they are. They'll have accents. Northern African, wherever they immigrated from. Okay, they're, they're in a terrorist cell. They're protected by the U.S. government right now to attack civilians, and that's what's happening. So apparently, there's not going to be any lethal gas when they're standing here, and you can guarantee that. But I can't guarantee it won't be in my main room while they're out there. Obviously, they want me to go to the door. They obviously want me to film. So ask them why. But the, I am done with this. But I am to say publicly, I'm to not go to the door, but I am to film. 
it has gotten that out of hand and that bad here. I don't know why. No. I'm the target of these individuals. I'm the target of their white supremacists that you've seen on video that all come together. But I don't know why. I can figure because I've witnessed homicides and manufacturing of chemical stenches and I've been a victim of military chemical gas, but I can't tell you why there's this relentless, hot, obsessive pursuit. No, I cannot give any sound legal scientific conclusion to that. You know what I mean? No, I'd have to learn and then tell you why. I'm as clueless as the rest of the public why they don't stop trying to apprehend, arrest, gas me, literally just do me in on Instagram videos with this gas that has me laying there. Bedridden. I don't know why. That is the worst you could put a person through psychologically. No, it's not. But it's pretty awful, okay, to be that confused and not understand why people are trying to harm you so gravely. No. No, it, it's it's pretty atrocious. Okay? Um, so I'm to say that. I'm to report that they got me in my room. You can see why I, I'm afraid to go to the hallway. I'm I'm just I just want to be left alone from this poison. The pain it puts you through. And then you just want to lay down and oh god. So I'm gonna report this. I'm not gonna say any more. What I was typing was just nice stuff to type. You just passing time. You know, write down your thoughts, blah blah blah. It's just maybe you want to publish it, maybe you don't. That's all I was doing. I'm getting fucking gassed for it. Okay, bye.